Trek boss. So today I am missing my geodes. So I wanted to come right back into it. I'm going to be watering down the blue a little bit um, with some Floetrol. I'm not watering it down, but you know, loosening it up. And it is the acrylic ultramarine blue by Alt Alternatives. I'm going to be using the metallic pearl white. Martha Stewart Crafts uh, Fine Glitter, the like blue azurite. Cool. And then this one I found is a gold glass glitter. You guys know I've been obsessed with the silver one. It is kind of hard to tell the difference, but you can tell it has a, a more yellow tint to it, so I'm excited to use it. So let's get started. Oh, and I do have my little jewels and stuff set aside just in case I decide I want to use them. So let's see. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Uh, uh, there it goes. I am super excited to see how these turn out though. I am using a clear glue tacky glue um, or clear gel tacky glue for my glitter. And the first thing that I want to do is determine where I want that glitter to be. So I'm actually going to grab a pencil and sort of draw it out on here for you. Okay, so I want these to be very different. So this one I'm just going to do kind of a rough, I don't know, ovally-ish shape here. And then on this one, I'm going to do more of a... I don't know, let's do kind of like a weirdish triangle thing. I think that'll look cool. Okay, so the reason I wanna do this though is so I have a general idea of where I want things to go. And the reason I decided to do this, I finally resined that purple one and it looks fantastic. It is so beautiful. So actually, let me grab it. I'll show you guys. Look at this. It turned out gorgeous. You can still see a couple of the runs, so I'll have to do <laughs> one more layer of glitter and resin, but oh my gosh. And I am in love with this. It turned out beautiful, sides and all. So that's why I decided, you know what? I'm missing these geodes. I need to jump back in. And I wanted to do a couple blue ones. I thought it would look really good. And I'm gonna vary them up just a little bit, but they're still gonna have that same color scheme. So the best thing that I found is having a paintbrush to spread your tacky glue um, or whatever glue you're using. It just it helps drastically. So I'm just using an angular brush and I'm going to go ahead and do it kind of similar to this purple one right here. So I actually do want to use this confetti glitter and I'm still going to have that chunky glitter out on that edge, from, but it's going to be a gold one instead of a silver one. So let's spread the inside first. And then of course, since it is glue and glue does dry fast, you want to go ahead and move quickly. And then now that line is going to end up getting covered up by our next color. Okay, so I have my blue ready, but I'm not ready to use it yet. I want to make sure that I have um, a little bit more of my glitter done, um, or at least whatever I'm doing with my glitter. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use that tacky glue again. Make sure you kind of clean it off so you don't put the one glitter in the other area. You know, simple stuff like that. And if you need to use the glitter um, or the glue a little bit more finite, you can go ahead and set it aside on like the side of the paper or something and just use it as a paintbrush thing. But I'm going to go ahead and go all the way along here. All right, so sometimes shit happens <laughs> and you just gotta improvise. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some blue glitter within this. 
which looks super cool. Oh my gosh. I wish filming was as good as what I can see here. I don't know if you guys can see that as well, but that looks really cool actually. I'm just gonna kinda shuffle, get it to stick within all those cracks in there and dump it off. That actually looks really neat. I'm excited for that. Okay, so now that I have glitter done, I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. And any spots that come up, I recommend waiting until everything is dry and just doing some touch up things instead of um, going all into it again. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna come on over here to this one. Now, same thing, I wanna go ahead and wipe my paintbrush off. There we go. Okay, now this one's gonna be a little different. I want to use these really pretty, like, they actually end up being a little bit more see-through. Um, so I do need to have a color underneath and I wanna use my blue. them down get them all in there if you guys need to layer it up again just like this one I recommend waiting for it to dry a little bit more dump off the extra ooh that's gonna be cool once that dries ooh I'm excited look at that yeah super cool yeah make sure all they can come off <laughs> okay now let's get that other glitter one let's see I did this, so let's use this one on this. Okay, so now I got that on there. We're gonna take that glass glitter and be very careful. It comes out super fast, just like that blue. And I don't wanna waste any if I can help it. All right, so let's switch back to this one. And you know what, because of this glitter, I think I'm actually gonna do a different blue. Uh, nope, let's commit. Told myself I would do it, so now I'm doing it, okay. So what I like to do is I take this metallic and I don't mix it with anything. I actually pour it straight onto my canvas. Now, I do have a pen that I deconstructed. Um, one of my viewers recommended it because of the, um, the hole being smaller at the bottom, so I'm gonna give that a try and see if that helps with this mixing. Now, you can use it to blow on it or you can actually use the popsicle stick to make some cool textures as well. Um, I'll leave that up to you. The pen, and it gives it a really cool structure or technique or whatever you want to say. Okay, so just make sure you fill that section up and then see once you do the paint, sometimes it goes over to the side and goes over your glitter. So that's also what I mean by doing the touch-ups after everything is dry. Um, but, I mean, that's completely up to you how you want to do that. Well, this whole one came off. I did not pay attention. That's all glitter right there. Cool beans, Ashley, way to go. <laughs> uh, my 
make sure you watch where your geode is going. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna let this one dry a bit. Maybe blow it around some more. There we go. That got rid of the running this way. Cool, let's set this one aside to dry. <laughs> Okay, so with this one, kind of learned my lesson, I'm gonna go ahead and do the blue first. Okay, so on this one, I'm actually gonna show you guys the popsicle stick, how to do that. So you wanna pour the paint first. And then the popsicle stick is going to be your catalyst to, you know, rocking it all around. So make sure you get it all on there. And it does help to direct a little bit more too. So you can just wiggle back and forth. Just push it around. Make it abstract by you controlling it in whatever way that you want. And that does help fill everything up where it needs to be too. And I honestly think they look way cooler this way. So I'm probably gonna do more just like this one, just different colors. Ooh, all those jewels are wanting to come off. They're not dry yet. There we go. All right, so this is definitely my favorite so far. This is badass. I love it. Um, okay, and this, again, I'm gonna do after I get this repainted, so that way I could have a little bit of randomness coming out there. And for the outside of this one, I'm gonna do that same glitter that I used on the purple one, which is just that extra fine, it's like a gold and silver that I mixed together. It was mostly gold though, um, just because it kind of lightened up the gold when I was doing that. I don't know, I did it for a guitar <laughs> and it looks really cool. Maybe I'll show you guys the guitar someday. And careful for those drips though. If you put too much on the sides and it takes too long to dry or you can't angle it up, then you're gonna actually have those drips on the side of your piece and you have to cover them and it's a lot harder. So just be a little bit more careful of that if you can. I am way too impatient to keep waiting. It's been a few hours and I forgot that because I added the flow trawl, it's not gonna dry very quickly. <laughs> so downside to adding flow trawl to help the whole, you know, um, technique, but the, Thing for me is I would like to go ahead and keep going and finish um, my sides. With this one, I am gonna use my gold dust. With this one, I decided I'm actually gonna use the chunks um, just to give that outside. Um, or you know what? Let's not do that. Let's just do the whole outside with glitter to kind of clean up this whole mess. I think that would actually be way easier and would still look thebomb.com, so let's do that. Okay, problem solved, see? Look at us solving problems here. <laughs> I don't wanna tilt it, actually. <laughs> that was the mistake over here. So don't tilt it, wait for it to dry, and then you can always um, tilt it after. All right, now you guys can see how this one turned out, and I'll do the sides later. If you guys wanna see the full image of this, um, Make sure you watch my Instagram because I post um, once I get the sides done and then I post once I do the resin as well. So this is the top 
and the sides really is just going to have the blue and then the gold glitter right there. With this one, we're changing this up. So let's bring this back over. All right, and there we go. This one is totally going to get changed. I think it'll look good. So again, I'm just going to do the top since everything is still wet. So this one is going to be finished this way. It's going to come in and right around here, actually. So that is going to cut like this. There we go. So that's going to have glitter, but I'm going to wait until this all dries. And I think this one will look good. I think it'll really come together once the resin goes on. Um, because that's really what makes these things pop like crazy. So this one really ended up being a lot more abstract than I intended, <laughs> but that's not a bad thing. So let me know what you guys think. If you like number one or number two, better. And if you guys would like me to do certain colors. I, um, I know someone requested for me to do some earthy tones and I just haven't done that yet because I haven't exactly been able to visualize it myself because um, I'm not much of an earthy tone gal <laughs> but I will do one eventually I just like my color pops right now um so yeah that's it let me know what you guys thought please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys Wednesday I'm gonna do another geode and I'll let you guys see how this one is going um for me <laughs> all right bye everyone